Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome to another edition of G-Verse. Right now, there is a lot of teeth gashing, people kind of like tripping, going, getting mad, losing it because YouTube decided to change the comment section. I've seen videos, people are pissed off. They're making me do this. They're making me do that. Okay. You ever heard of the expression mice type or terms of service? When you went ahead and got your Gmail account, you got your YouTube account, there was a lot of mice type fine print somewhere. You didn't read it, which gave YouTube all of these rights to do this stuff. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. So the minute you signed up, it's like when you signed a new PayPal collective uh, agreement that says you can't sue them. You sign for a new PayPal account, you have agreed that you will go through arbitration and you will not sue them. So part of that is the entitlement mindset because YouTube has had issues. The subscriber box is broken at times, but for me, the issues with YouTube are about like that, about that big. And the benefit of YouTube's like, it's, it's like a galaxy. So you have people concentrating on 5% and ignoring 95%. I do a lot of videos. And the more videos you do, the more things you learn, the more issues you run into. YouTube gives you the ability to upload a video to your channel and then you go into your video dashboard and download it and it will give you a perfectly high resolution compressed video for free. Back in the day, people paid thousands of dollars for that service that you can get for free. Now, I, this isn't about YouTube. This is about taking advantage of emerging opportunities because right now, close the sunroof because it's going to get a little noisy. Right now, I, well, just recently I discovered that by taking a chance last year and using a brand new platform still in beta stage that I saved myself $12,000. And I'm going to tell you how I did it. And one, I'm a member of several Facebook groups and a lot of conversations goes on. And I was talking to some of the other members that, hey, I was getting ready to do these things. And they were like, are you going to trust your information and your money to a startup? And I was like, yeah, sure, sure thing. I've done it before. I'll do it again. And it's like, are you? All right. This is my thought process. How do you pay for most stuff online? With a credit card. If it goes funky, you do a chargeback, you move on. You can't lose. You cannot lose if you know the rules. So I'm not even like, if I don't get the service. I'm moving on. So there was a lot of teeth gashing. There was a lot of like, hey, I would if it was me, I wouldn't do it. Well, I went ahead and did it. And there was a lot of things that were not correct. There were many things that I wanted improved. And since this site was in beta mode, they listened to me and the improvements came. I made suggestions. Um, I would say virtually all of the reasonable sound business decision, I mean, uh, suggestions I made, they implemented by virtually everyone and maybe two or three things they didn't do i call that a win well the site is so good now to get the service that i have and i'm not telling you which i'm paying because they already have enough jealous people on here but i am not paying a tenth of this and i virtually saved myself twelve thousand dollars by going in first going in early being uh one of the most robust subscribers when they started See, the reason I'm doing this video is to tell you, stop being scared, little bitches. Stop worrying about the worst possible thing that can happen. It might happen. I'm not going to tell you, no, it's not going to happen. It might happen. It very well may happen. But the other side may happen too. You may get some awesome benefit. One of the things that I've learned is it is better to be on the ground floor even if the ground floor is a dirt floor 
then to try to come in when the house is built. You get in better, you get a greater perspective, you get some, uh, you get to see how this thing grew, you gain different insights, and it's way cheaper. It is way cheaper. So, part of this entitlement mindset, and in my mind, the root is that you have people who are accustomed to getting great stuff for free. To add more wrinkles to the pig, they're used to getting stuff for free that's top notch. YouTube, you get for free and it's top notch. You have a site that gives you international distribution from your laptop, your phone, your desktop. How fucking awesome is that? I look at the awesome aspects more so than I look at, well, I'm not happy with this. I'm not, throw that out the window. Do not get caught up in this. I'm going to wait until they fix all of the bugs and the wrinkles. You're missing our opportunity. You're missing an opportunity. Most of the YouTubers that had a plan and some talent who started in 2006 have probably, and it was only a handful of people that really stuck with it because this will blow your mind. 95% of the videos on YouTube have less than a thousand views. So if you're, if most of your videos have a thousand views, you're in the top 5% of YouTubers. Kind of crazy. That's how low the bar is. That's how low the bar is. So these guys who started first, they had an incredible opportunity and some of them became millionaires. There were other people who used YouTube as a jack off emotional masturbation platform. They didn't think about money. They didn't put forth their best effort. And now their lips are stuck out because they're looking at other people going, well, I started when they started and they're doing so much better than me. There's other things under the hood. What I'm trying to tell you is stop being so afraid of failure because that's really, you know, to strip away the layers, to take the epidermis off, the epidermis off, to get down to the muscle, to, to get to the bone, get to the marrow. It all roots the, that you think that you're going to lose something versus gaining something. I have made a fool of myself on YouTube. I have gotten myself in pointless fights. I have made egregious errors. I have put up some suck ass videos and I would do it all over again because the benefit, the benefits like a hundred, hundred foot tall dude, tallest dude in the unit. I mean, the benefit is just incredible. And what you have is a group of people who are looking at the distraction. They're looking at the negatives. I'm not saying don't do a, you know, opportunity cost evaluation. If I do this, what is it going to cost me? That's just sound, you know, reasonable decision. But there's like a number of YouTubers who get on for like three months, six months, a year, and then they start bitching like girls because they're not getting certain results. And part of that is because YouTube has grown. If I knew what I know now, I would have balled out in 2006 on YouTube. I would have went out and got the best camera equipment and went nuts. There was little competition. There was, you know, now everyone that has a phone that's maybe one or two years old is your competition because the phone has a camera. Uh, most of these phones now have minimum 720p. Uh, a lot of the higher end phones, 1080p. I'm talking vivid video. So anyone that has a cell phone can now compete with you on YouTube. It wasn't like that in 2006 or 7 or 8 or 9 or even 10. See where I'm going with this? If you get in early, you're going to get early adapter benefits. If you get in when it's all sexy and clean and it looks good, you're going to pay a premium. Uh, another example is my course, The Hustler Mindset. I have some awesome things that are coming for 2014. And I'll let you know a little secret. I kind of slowed down the pace because I had some people who were more value conscious in terms of I got to get my total word for 25 bucks. I, I'm telling you right now, next year, some stuff that's going to be coming, $1,000 courses, $2,000 courses. And for the folks who got in early, they're going to reap the benefits. Folks who got in early and stayed, just like I did with my video platform site, just like I did with Gumroad, getting in early, going out, 
doing stuff, not sitting around waiting for things to get super sexy, to get crazy, wild, easy. You know, waiting for that stuff, you lose out. You lose opportunity. You lose momentum. And a lot of people have lost momentum because they never got started. I can't say you lost. You can't lose what you never had. But you got to get in early. Etsy, eBay, Amazon. Everyone that got in early with a plan, stayed at it, reaped some serious benefits. Now, the root cause of all this fear is we're living a very funny society that preaches success. We're in love with those people that have innate talent. I'm not in love with those people. I'm in love with that guy who absolutely sucked ass when they started and became a legend. That would be John Coltrane. When he started, there wasn't a lot of promise for the dude. He actually changed jazz. This came from a guy who had no promise, who was told that he should do something else because he got in it and he stayed with it and he's a legend. Now you can do things like that if you will get started and do not let the distractors tell you. I had so many people tell me, don't do YouTube, don't do this, forget about blogging, forget about this. And I marched to my own compass. Sometimes the compass isn't pointing in the right direction, but 90% of the time it is. And as you learn to trust yourself, as you learn to not be totally rocked by mistakes and setbacks and look at them as learning opportunities, you're going to experience a lot of growth, a lot of success, an amazing life. So what I'm telling you is, do not be one of these people bitching and whining about YouTube's new comments, um, comment uh, change. It, it's not even worth arguing about because I have already seen benefit. I've had several people because I, I'll go to the beginning. Two, three years ago, I was in a forum and this one guy said, you need to join Google Plus. He said, they may not be doing anything with it now, but at some point, it's going to take off. Now think about this. I joined Google Plus just to have another SEO reference. Went ahead, linked it to my YouTube channel, and really didn't put a lot of effort into it. But who runs the internet? Google. Why would you not, if you are a person trying to make money online, not have a Google Plus account? Who runs the internet? Google. Why would you not be a part of their architecture? Why? Give me a sensible, non-emotional based answer. If you have a Gmail account, you're already part of their architecture. Why would you be pissed at getting a Google Plus account? Google Plus is going to rock. Because let's look at what is Google? Google is a company that has amazingly smart people running it. Would you agree? They were their problem solvers. Can you now see the benefit of linking the Google Plus com in the comments? Because one big benefit, because everyone agrees, this has been a pain in the ass. You cannot put links in your YouTube comments. And a lot of times during the discussion, you need to put a link. Or, yeah, because, you know, now with this new thing, you can put links in your YouTube comments. For internet marketers, that's bananas. That is totally nuts. That is totally off the chain. I mean, just the, the possibilities are sick, what you can now do. Now, think about this. Google Plus, link comments, Google Air Hangouts. Are you starting to connect the dots now? Are you starting to see what I am seeing? This is going to be huge. Do not be a namby-pamby, whiny little bitch. What's my saying? If you've been on this channel a while, you know. Don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. Learn the fucking rules so you can win. This is an opportunity. This is an opportunity for some of you to make some money. 
to improve your life, to improve your business. This is an opportunity. I'm telling you, this is crazy what's going to come. So go ahead, get your Google Plus account and learn how to use it. Go through that learning curve because a lot of this bitching and whining is some people are going to have to do a little study um, and to get up to speed because they're not going to have to use the functionality of the platform. Learn. Remember that scene in Swordfish? And the guy's like, I don't know how to drive a stick. And John Travolta learned with a, with a machine gun in his hand. Learn. You don't need to have a machine gun in your in, against your head. Learn. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be over the top crazy. Because right now, if you start learning this stuff and utilizing it for your business or whatever, you will be ahead of the curve versus ran over by the curve. Hold on a second. Door is uh, empty. Needs a little petrol. I'll be right back. All right, we're back there after that fuel break. We were bone dry. That's what it took so long. All right, seriously. These things that are coming present amazing opportunity. Amazing opportunity going forward. I don't know if I'm saying her name correctly, but her name is Laura Roder. Excuse me. I came across her maybe, what was it, three years ago, four years ago? She had this thing called Backstage Pass to Twitter. When I first saw it, I giggled. But I am also a person that pays attention because I was like, I don't know about Twitter. I don't know how this thing's going to work out. And she created this program, Backstage Pass to Twitter. One night, she sold uh, $30,000 worth of that stuff in 24 hours. At that point, I started to pay attention. She now has a seven-figure business that's maybe four and a half, five years old. Roughly the same time that I'm, yeah, I think she came online before I did, maybe a year or so. So, looking at that, let's go, why did that work out for her? She jumped on Twitter as soon as it came down. She knew that there were people out there who would not understand Twitter. She developed a certain level of expertise, and she sold that expertise and created a lifestyle. Not a regular lifestyle, but an amazing lifestyle for herself and her family. Because she jumped on the platform immediately. There's uh, this thing. It's not new anymore, but it was Vine. I'll tell you, Vine. V-I-N-E. A lot of you never even heard of it. There are people who jumped on Vine who are now being courted by Fortune 100 companies. And they're getting $10,000 to do a Vine video on the product. One guy's doing six figures. Vine's not a year old. Do you see where I'm going with this? Stop with the, oh God, they're making me do stuff. Do some shit, damn it. Stop being a little bitch. Oh, I'm like sick of the whining. Stop whining. Learn. It could put some good coin in your pocket. It does not pay to whine unless you're the queen and you have a kingdom and you have subjects you whine people jump okay it works and you know really she doesn't whine she just says I'm not happy and shit just happens but seriously 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 don't be one of those people get your ass in gear and really start learning how to take advantage of these amazing opportunities that are presenting themselves to you right now I mean, I don't even know how to make it any plainer, any cleaner, any clearer. We live in amazing times. The opportunities that are out there are amazing, awesome. At no point in history could you sit at home in your spare bedroom and literally create 
a six-figure income stream from your spare bedroom in a matter of six to 18 months. There are some people in that same time span are doing seven figures and some are doing eight. At no time in history could you do this. What are you waiting on? Seriously, what are you waiting on? For your life to be over? For you to be sitting in that nursing home or in that trailer park wondering what the fuck happened? You know, you 80 years old. It's just you and uh, Fuzzy, your cat. Do you want that to be your life? Do you? It doesn't have to be. Take advantage right now so you're not, you and Fuzzy are not in the trailer watching old Jerry Springer rewind, runs wondering what the fuck happened. Just telling you like I see it because these are amazing times for people who are mentally aware and ready to take action. When you have the wrong mindset, you're fucked before you start it. Just, hey, I'm just giving it to you straight. You are fucked before you start it. And many of you, based on some of these comments I'm seeing, have the wrong mindset. You don't fucking own YouTube. You're here by the good graces of Google. And this is not me being a psychophant. This is just reality. You are getting stuff that is amazing for free and bitching about it. How fucked up is that? So, take a few moments, think about it, look at yourself, decide to take action, and who knows where you will be this time next year. Alright, this is Glenn and Cameron. I'll see you on the good side.